with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. Well, all that ice is finally <laughs> melted, most of it at least. It was so frigid the last couple of days. I wore shorts today. It felt great out there. I don't feel you actually wear shorts. Walking you know, around a lot on of ice, but I had my shorts that. on. No problem. I you love know, wearing took, shorts. Yeah, I took the trash out today and had <laughs> well, I, I, I you was, had your jammies I, on. I, you know you I, did. I, I, I did. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, though, it, it really felt good to see that oh, sunshine this nice. afternoon. Everything dripping. Yeah, roads are starting to dry up, but yeah. there are still some slick spots, particularly the areas that have been in the shade, and that's really one of the problems. Also, another thing I want to mention to you. Uh, most of the ice has melted off the uh, cars and uh, the roofs of SUVs and things like that. But uh, if you still have some lingering ice on top of your car, you might want to go ahead and brush that off. I've seen some instances of it actually flying off while you're on the interstate. That could be a problem, too, because if that ends up hitting the uh, windshield of the person behind you, that could be a big issue, especially if you're on the interstate and you're behind one of these tractor trailers that has that. Uh, sometimes the ice will fly off the back of the trailer and could end up posing a problem for you. So just keep that in mind. Keep enough distance between you and the back of the tractor trailer truck on the interstate if you can. And also, if you have some of that on top of your vehicle, go ahead and brush it off just to keep everybody else safe. Temperatures this morning were cold. 11 in uh, Evergreen this morning. 16 Mobile, 20 in Pensacola, Gulf Shores. You guys getting down uh, to around 20 degrees as well. Here's something interesting. I just showed this earlier. And of course, we use visible satellite a lot of times. This is just one of the satellites we have out in space. Can kind of look down and see what the clouds are doing. These are some mid and upper level clouds that have been kind of hanging around over northwest Florida through the afternoon. But this right here is some of the snow pack and the ice pack seen from space. And it's fairly dark here, particularly in western Escambia County. Notice how it starts fading away as the afternoon progressed and we started to get those temperatures up into the 40s. So warming things up nicely this afternoon. Take a look at this. Evergreen getting up to 50 this afternoon unofficially so far. Notice Crestview only 38. It was very chilly over there given the fact that the clouds stayed thick through the afternoon. The sun makes a whole lot of difference, especially this time of year and warming things up. And so Northwest Florida is still fairly chilly now. 39 for Walton Beach, 44 in Mobile. Here's your forecast through tonight. Only expected to drop to around 30 degrees at their coldest. We may see a couple of spots drop into the upper 20s, but it looks like most areas though should stay in the lower 30s. Uh, overnight tonight. There may be some isolated refreezing of some patches out there, so just be careful, but it doesn't look nearly as bad as it has been the past couple of days. Just a few clouds around, but nothing too significant. Looks like forecast is going to be warmer here over the next few days. Notice here on Pinpoint Predictor, the arrows pointing a, showing a southwesterly wind aloft, bringing some of that warmer air into the region. The Arctic area retreats, and that means we're going to see uh, temperatures around 70 degrees here as early as Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Pinpoint Predictor shows a partly cloudy sky for Friday. Fog is going to start becoming a problem, particularly Saturday morning. Notice how the clouds and the fog start to invade the area. So we're going to call it mostly cloudy for this weekend, and we'll start to introduce a few chances for showers late Saturday and especially on Sunday. But we'll take the rain as long as we get the milder temperatures. And that's what we're going to see for tomorrow. Mild, low 60s across the area. Sky is partly cloudy. Fantastic afternoon shaping up. Here's your seven day forecast. 63 tomorrow, near 70 on Saturday. We'll start to see some rain chances around. So just have the umbrella for your weekend plans. And then next week, looks like we could see some low to mid 70s ahead of a cold front that's going to bring us a few showers and storms here by late Tuesday into Wednesday. The great 2014 warm up is on. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank goodness things are starting to uh, yeah. thaw out here. All right. Thank you, Derek. Mm -hmm.